In the Nafusa Mountains in western Libya, water is hard to come by. In the town of Kikla, Ibrahim Mas'ud takes advantage of this government-supplied water from a man-made river, a Gaddafi era project that was meant to supply all of Libya with fossil water from the Saharan desert. If there's water from the river, it'll last three to seven days and then it'll dry up. The water won't come back for a month or a month and a half. It's been three days since it came and it's almost dry. Ibrahim delivers water to people in the area for a price, and for many here, it's too expensive. Omar Miftah says hundreds of families are leaving the Nafusa Mountains for coastal cities. Everyone is running away from here because of water. I need three trucks of water a month, and I spend more than 20% of my income on it. For people with large families, water is too expensive. They all left for Tripoli. Libya is one of the driest countries in the world and experiences critical water shortages. With limited resources, the UN says it's ranked the sixth poorest country in the world for water. Agriculture consumption accounts for more than 80% of total freshwater resources in Libya. And with its growing population, demand is expected to increase 40% by 2030. It's become clear, business as usual isn't sustainable. Some young entrepreneurs are looking to the future and working towards solution. This Libyan startup is using what's known as aquaponics to address the water scarcity problem. The process combines fish farming with soilless vegetable cultivation. It uses a closed water loop system. That means the water first collected to house the fish is still in use. The fish live in the water. They produce ammonia. Through nitrification and mechanical filtration, nitrogen is released. The water then moves to the plants, which purify the water feeding on the nitrogen. And then through drain pipes, the water makes its way back to the fish. Abdullah says he wants to start a farming revolution in Libya. So Hydro Harvest is a proof of concept that shows local farmers they can produce locally made clean products using less water, about 90% less water, without using chemical pesticides or insecticides as well. Years of war and political instability have made it difficult to keep up with seawater desalination and maintaining water facilities. Water stress levels are projected to increase by 2040 unless authorities intervene. But young entrepreneurs like Abdullah, looking for sustainable solutions to farming, could be the lifeline this country needs. Malik Trena, Al Jazeera, Western Libya. Don't miss out. Get the full picture. Subscribe to Al Jazeera for reliable news and expert insights. Like, share, stay ahead.